Sports became a safe haven, a method of survival. There are those who stated, if it wasn't for sports, I would have never made it. Without sport, Wilton Littlechild wouldn't have made it. A survivor of 14 brutal years at residential schools. His reality? The horror of abuse, broken lives, tragedy, and pain. It was the awesome power of sport and education that saved his life, and he firmly believes can save the lives of others, too. There's been so much problems in this community, violence and suicide, and, and in his own quiet way, he's, he's getting uh, involved in addressing those issues. He believes that sport and hockey are the key components to solving a lot of problems with our kids. A fractured leg ended Wilton's athletic career, but he was determined to excel. He focused his unbreakable ambition and used the lessons he learned as an athlete to raise himself to the highest levels of scholarship and international statesmanship. He has smashed every barrier and banished every stereotype. He works hard at what he does. You know, once he set out to do something, he doesn't stop until he accomplishes it. He's the, the kind of visionary who is able to, to pull people along and um, he can explain it in such a way that they buy into it and see it and build it. He really cares deeply about people. The Honorable Wilton Littlechild is an exceptional lawyer, politician, and a powerful force in the fight to improve the lives of his people and all people. He became the first Alberta Treaty First Nations person to earn a law degree in that province the first Treaty Indian Member of Parliament, and a Commissioner for the Truth and Reconciliation Commission of Canada. He has been a driving force behind the World Indigenous Games and the North American Indigenous Games. It's about educational outcomes, suicide prevention, it's about language retention, it's about culture and identity. He saved lives. That's what he did through sport. For decades, Chief Littlechild has worked with the United Nations. His fight for Indigenous rights has impacted the entire world. It took him 40 years being involved with the United Nations Declaration on Indigenous Rights. Anybody could have easily quit. He left his family, he left all of us. To me, that's an ultimate sacrifice. Today, he proudly wears the honorary headdress bestowed by his own Musquachese people and has been named Chief Walking Wolf, a title his own grandfather once held. I was texting him on uh, New Year's Day, and I said, Willie, you're, uh, you're a great example to the people, and um, you're a light to all the, uh, to the people in this community. You know, what we do in church, we light one candle, and next thing you know, you start lighting other people's candy and you have a... I said, you're that light, Willie. We need you. Keep up. <laughs> Keep up the good work. <laughs>